So we're just coming down to meet Victo for a cheeky little glass of coke at the pub. Goose was meant to be with me, but earlier we had uh, weather warnings of rain. But when I looked later on, it was only light rain. But Goose had already told the boss then, his wife, that he wasn't going, so there's no way he could go back on it. She would smosh his face in. Well, good evening all. Unexpected little ride out tonight. Bit of a saga attached to this. I was originally planning to meet Maverick and Goose at the Angel Pub at Stourport. Then yesterday it got called off because the forecast was rubbish. Right, things seem to have got better as the day went on today, so Maverick's decided he's coming over. By which time apparently Goose has told his good lady they weren't coming over, so she's now made plans for him. So he can't come. And Maverick's coming over on his own. And Goose is uh, not too delighted about it apparently. Poor old goose, and somehow, not quite sure how, it's been added to my list of disciplinary uh, charges, which I've got to answer for. I'm missing rides, and now, now messing this one up somehow. So yeah, looks like I'll be getting uh, hauled in front of the committee. I presume that was the end of the matter. So I'm not quite sure what time Maverick will be at the meeting point. By the time I get there, it'll probably be some, somewhere around the time he should get in there. One of us might have to wait a couple of minutes to be about it, I think. Hopefully it's me and not him, otherwise that'll be someone else added to my list of charges. And I believe everything you say, by the way. Well, it's a great night for a little ride. Sorry about this, Goose, but... Uh, you're missing out here, son. I think the moral of the tale is, Goose, never listen to a man with long hair. Excuse me. Now, the pub, the Angel, is only about half a mile from Vic's house, but he's drove half the way here to meet me, so at least he gets a bit of a ride in. So we should be at the petrol station just down here. We're on a steady 14 degrees. God, it seemed, it seemed like forever for that temperature to start getting to 14. You know, considering now we're in middle of May, it has took its time to get up. We're normally having decent weather by now, so it's, it's been well earned, well deserved. I'm just hoping, because we haven't peaked too early with a little heat wave or hot weather, that we get a decent summer. Of all years, this is the year we deserve it. The pack talk should pick him up soon. Victo! Big Ben, this is Rubber Duck. I wouldn't have thought he'd be here yet. I should think I'm before him. Yeah, I thought so. Very happy now with the way this bike's looking. Been a few alterations since I had it. Oh, I'm sure. Here he is! Here he is, the big sex best. Here he is. <laughs> oh, pal! I didn't expect you yet. I've only been here about two minutes. Am I? Marge coming up below. 
Hello, battery, I don't know if I'm on. Oh, yeah, I haven't put mine on yet. Hang on. Turn around, I think you had a wasp on your back. Hey? Turn around. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, you had a wasp on your back. Oh, right, okay. Victor! I, uh, I'm tr this is the first time I've tried this helmet for the, with the uh, pack talk to see what the volume's like. Ah, it's right. Never, it seems as though it's going to be a lot louder, actually. Is it a lot closer to your ears? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. It should be good, brother. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> Poor old Goose. Oh, no. He dropped a he, kid hey, there, didn't he? He's blaming me for this. Because <laughs> I looked on the weather at work and it was showing rain. I thought, oh, no. And I said to him, what shall we do? We said, if it's going to rain, then forget it. And then he finished. This was about four o'clock. Then I looked at the weather. And then it changed to, if it was, was going to rain, it was only going to be slight rain. And then I messaged him, I messaged him, but he, he didn't answer. And I was on my way over and I found him and he went, oh, he said, I've told the wife now I ain't going. So, so we've gone out. Yeah. So. Do you, uh, do you want to go straight to the Angel or would you like to try that Rose and Crown Bikers pub I've told you about in the past? Yeah, where's that? It's on the way. Yeah. I'll follow you. But we've, we've only got a branch off for 200 yards. Or yeah. I'll follow you then. Victo. Right. Yeah, it's in these. Well, that'll match the bike as well, don't they? <laughs> yeah, so that was the idea. Yeah, that looks smart though, you do actually. Yeah, it's got CBF thousand printed on the other side. Very nice. I might have to look at some of them for mine. Go on, then I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you pop a wheelie out of here. <laughs> okay. You look oh, so much. A road surface here, isn't it? You look so much com more comfortable on that. Yeah, I feel it. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, it looks a much better position you're in. Yeah, it's so much comfier. I um, I thought I might as well come out here to meet you. Otherwise, it's not worth getting the yeah. bike out, is it? Just to go down the Angel. Well, it wasn't worth you getting dressed, was it? Well, no. To put all your bike gear on. That's what I was thinking. Plus, I hadn't used these levers before. I wanted to see what they're like. Yeah, my car was saying low battery. Is it? I, I had charged this since we went to Church Stretton, and I left yeah. it on. I left it on for two weeks. I'll tell you one good thing. This volume's great now. I can hear you clearly. Is it a lot better? I couldn't on that other helmet. I mean, you, you might find as well that other helmet might have had. Uh, too much wind noise in the helmet. Well, possible. You're right. Can yeah. you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I think mine's yeah. cutting out. I think the battery's going. Yeah. Well, and if we lose contact altogether, we'll know why, won't we? Yeah. I'll just follow you. Lovely temperature, isn't it today? Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? This is nothing like was forecast now, no. is it? No. Goose, you're going to be gutted. <laughs> Yeah, it's my fault as well. It's another thing on my list of charges, <laughs> isn't it? But um, it did say, though, that he had still looked at his bike yet, yeah, white blown fuses. So uh, he's, he's still got to look at that. Something's causing it. He's blowing yeah. a 15 amp fuse. Yeah, you definitely look long distance on that, Vic. Yeah, I know. I, I haven't done a proper ride on it yet, uh, have I? Adam Valley, four weeks Friday. Yeah, four weeks. Oh, let's just, really just hope we get the good weather. Because the, the route in the day is going to be mega. Yeah. If we get the I weather was, for it. I was just saying when I was on the way down here now, even if, if we could just get weather like this, this yeah. would be ideal. This is perfect. 10 too hot, 10 too cold. Yeah. Not windy. Yeah. But what I shall do is, uh, I said to Goose, because I'm taking the little gas camping stove, I shall definitely take a hot water bottle in case it gets cold in the night. Because there's no yeah. electric, is there? No. So at least that way, so we can fill the kettle, put the hot water on. Have you? I was thinking, you know, my air pump for my air bed. I'm not going to be able to plug that in, am I? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a connector for my bike. Oh, you've got the, you've got yeah. the connector, have you? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I, right. I've got like this little uh, connector on my bike where I plug in my Optimate charger, and when I plug in my heated clothing, and I've ah, got, right. the, I've got the adapter to the other end. What's a cigarette lighter? Right. 
And you don't take too much out of your battery? Nah, as long as you leave the engine running, it's fine. Yeah. This pub we're going to try, the Rose and Crown, it uh, gets packed with bikes on a Friday tea time. Yeah. Because they've got like a small terrace at the south side of the pub, but they've got a big beer garden. Is this but the one? Is it on the bridge? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, it's before we go into the town. I was just saying, just when I put the camera on, with this weather, you know, I said it, it took a long time for it to get to 14 degrees. Yeah. You know, so normally, yeah, it does. normally we've got quite good weather by now, but. Oh no. Save the good weather for the summer. Yeah. And Eden Valley, yeah. It, I can't help thinking back to last year when they first locked us down. We had about five weeks of great oh, weather, no. didn't we? That was criminal, that was. They're blaming that we were the wrong side of the, the uh, jet stream. That's what they're saying is causing this unsettled weather. Oh. The jet stream's in the wrong place. It always is for us, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Apart from when they locked us down last year, it was in the yeah. right place then. So the travellers have gone there, then off the grass. Yeah. I've got to say though, them horses have done a lovely job of cutting the grass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was a load of them uh, on the main Worcester dual carriageway just past the Mitre Oak, right. just before they went there. Because you can, you can hire this place out on your right, Vic, this campsite. Can you? Yeah. I thought, what's the point in over there? There weren't exactly any spectacular roads around here, is there really? Nah, that's right. You're going to end up driving out to find a road. Yeah, I mean, even the difference looking at you from the back, Vic. I mean, when he was on your Suzuki, it was a good looking bike, but you was proper hunched forward over yeah, that. Yeah, I was. It's... I didn't realise just how uncomfortable I was, you know, because I, I always said it was a pretty comfortable riding position. But yeah. Of course I hadn't tried this thing. I wouldn't want to go back to it now. That's the thing nowadays, isn't it? It's comfort we have to chase yeah. now. It is at my age, but yeah. You know, yeah. So Ken's happy with his as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's got new pipes on his now as well. Has he? He's got uh, Dominator pipes on his. Of course, he's got one each side, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. Uh, it cost him twice as much. As soon as we get down into Stourport, that first roundabout, instead yeah. of going straight over to go in, up into the town, we turn left, the Worcester Road, which would take us out to the Mitre Oak. Yeah. And it's only just about 300 yards up there on the left. Yeah, I mean, even in the week, it's just nice to get out, even just for an hour. Yeah. You working tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, this was the only window I put said to the, the boy for said, look, yeah. I'm, going, I'm going to have a pint of coke. Yeah. You'd be able to tell Goose what he missed. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you making a video out of this or not? Yes. Uh -oh. Just to, just to wind Goose up. Yeah. We've only, we've only been out for about seven minutes. <laughs> this is this is nearly shorter than our very first winter, winter camp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was 2.8 miles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with a bloody knackered tent before I started. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched that quite recently, that video. Yeah. It's all experience, so yeah. that is. Yeah, we're turning left here. This is the pub. Yeah, on a Friday tea time, this gets rammed, this car park with bikes. And they just reverse into this space here by this car. Yeah. I presume it's open, is it? Well, it's been a pleasure, motorway. I enjoyed my pint of coke. Is my camera on? It's on for now. I don't know how long it's going to last. So that's me and Vic's little bike night out. We come to a biker's pub for a bike night and there's just the two of us. But we enjoyed it. We had a good chat. The sun was out. It's not rained like it was meant to. So just a little video of two guys having a drink in May. I'll see you all on the next video. Oosh! Right then, Victor! Oh,
Cheers, mate. I'll see Straight you soon. Straight to the roundabout. Yeah, I'm going to go that way. Oh, you're going that yeah. way, are you? Right out. Uh, okay, then. Speak to you later. Motor out. Right, see you later, bud. Yeah, cheers, mate. Actually, did I shut my top? <laughs> yep, I'm good. All the best, mate. Cheers, mate. See you later, Victo. That was very enjoyable. Weather was great. Totally against the forecast. It's a shame Goose couldn't make it. But uh, no doubt he will next time.